Hallelujah, hallelujah. On this life to the grand day, this glorious Sunday, this is the day that the Lord has made, so let us rejoice and be glad in it. Most high saints of God, welcome to the streets of gold, throne room house, in the name of prayer house, in the name of Jesus. A lovely day, one more day to get it right, most high saints of God. Been sitting and just trying to hear from God this morning to, to see what it is that I need to bring before God because, you know, we all have, we're seeking for one thing or we're seeking for another in the name of Jesus. We all are dealing with one thing or we're dealing with another in the name of Jesus. But if we humble ourselves and seek God's face, he'll let us know what it is that we need to bring before him in prayer in the name of Jesus. So it's not our desires in the name of Jesus. Because he said he'll give us the desires of our hearts in the name of Jesus. But when your desires begin to line up with the divine word of God inside his face in the name of Jesus. And for the past couple of days, and I've just been hearing in my spirit, we're seeking for love in all the wrong places in the name of Jesus. Return back unto your first true love in the name of Jesus. Who are you going to serve in this place in the name of Jesus? Are you going to serve them in the name of Jesus? The things and the leaders and the worshipers of the world in the name of Jesus. Are you going to serve the Lord and Savior, our, our Lord of Lords and King the King, the Creator in the name of Jesus? Are you going to serve the creation or are you going to serve the Creator? Because you will love the one and you will despise the other in the name of Jesus. God just brought back to my remembrance. He says, how I told you, uh, it was a bunch of junk in the way in the name of Jesus. Uh, and as I've been praying over this time and growing in God and learning how to pray to God and how to speak to God, uh, I begin to see the junk. Uh, the junk is moving out of the way, uh, but the junk begins to clutter nothing but my surrounding in the name of Jesus. Uh, no matter how much I pick up, I just see junk. I look in the spirit and I just see junk everywhere in the name of Jesus. Uh, God says, I told you there's a time and a place for everything in this place. Satan is at war with the church in the name of Jesus. Shut it all. Help me, Holy Ghost. Help me, God. Have to make it plain to stay in order in the name of Jesus. Order in the name of the decree, declare order in the divine alignment in this place in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, Ecclesiastes. Three, it says to everything, there is a season and a time. A time to every purpose under heaven and a time to be born and a time to die and a time to plant and a time to pluck up her. That which is planted, her. a time to kill and a time to heal, a time to break down, her. a time to build up, her. a time to weep, her. a time to laugh, her. a time to mourn, her. a time to dance her. in the name of Jesus, her. a time to cast away stones her. and a time to gather stones together, her. a time to embrace her. and a time to refrain from embracing, a time to Kid, and a time to lose her, and a time her, to keep her, a time to cast away her, a time to render her, a time to sow her, and a time to, under, in the name of Jesus, a time to keep silence her, and a time to speak in the name of Jesus. Her. A time to love and a time to hate, a time to war her, and a time for peace. Her, her what profit her, have he that work of in the wherein her, he laboreth in the name of Jesus? Her, her glory, my God, her, in the name of Jesus, help me, Holy Ghost, her, in the name of Jesus. And as I've been praying and I've been listening because he said you must learn to be her, quick to listen and slow to speak. Her. I heard my auntie pay her, moving in the rams because God says what they want do uh, on this side. Uh, they shall do on the other side. Uh, you have loved ones uh, and ancestors uh, that is warned for you. Uh, it is more for you than it is against you inside this place. Uh, and I was listening and I was like, oh. I said, wait a minute. Every time you hear me, my auntie Peg, she used to always uh, sit on the sofa and, and when they, you always tell when there's something that's 
that caught her curiosity because she was smack her lips. And I said, oh, auntie, hallelujah. I thank you, sister. I thank you, God, for watching out over us in the midnight hour. I thank you, Jesus. I glorify your name, God. Just because we're answered from the body in the name of Jesus. It makes you present with the Lord. And that this old tabernacle is going to wear out one day. And where were you? Where will you be in this place? When God said, come on up, my most humble and faithful servant. In the name of Jesus, Satan is at war with the church in the name of Jesus. I glorify God. Thank you, Jesus. The revelations. It said this. It says, and it was given unto them to make war. So we know what season and time it is. That's why I told you to humble yourself inside this place. Pharaoh, let my people go, that they may go out into the wilderness and worship me in the name of Jesus. You're worried about a building, huh? You're, you're planting churches and things that you cannot afford inside this place. What would you do if God came and swept and take it all away? If he shut the doors in this he says, I got to go out into the highways and the byways in the name of Jesus uh, and compel my people to come. Uh, it says uh, it was given unto him uh, to make war with the saints uh, and to overcome them. Uh, and to and power was given him over all kindred and tongues and nation in the name of Jesus. Uh, in the name of Jesus, God said, I'm speaking to the loveless church. In the name of Jesus, in the persecuted church, unto the loveless church, he said, unto the angels, unto the church of Ephesus, write these things, say of her, he that holds her, the seven stars in his right hand. In the name of Jesus, walk in the midst of the seven golden candles, sticks in the name of Jesus. I know thy works, thy labor, and thy patience. How thou canst not bear them which are evil, and thou hast tried them which say they are apostles and are not. I was praying, and I heard God say, I call and I'm calling the elect lady. Everything that she did not do, you shall do. I didn't call you to make love to them. I called you to love them as you minister through to them. And can you minister to those who have hurt you in this place in the name of Jesus? Because God chastened those who he loved. And it says in, in the Revelations 2, in, in, in the name of Jesus, to it says, and has found her, them liars and have born and have patience in the name of the for my name's sake have labored and have not fainted in the name of the nevertheless I have them I have somewhat against thee because thou have left thy first love remember therefore from which thou art fallen and repent and do the works or else I will come unto you quickly and remove thy candlestick out of the place. In the name of Jesus, accept thy repent. In the name of Jesus, but this thou hast that have hated thee, the Nicolaitans, in the name of Jesus, which I also hate. In the name of Jesus. I glorify your name. The Nicolaitans were believers who compromised their faith in order to enjoy some of the simple practices of the Ephesians society in the name of Jesus. The Balaamites in the name of Jesus. Balaam was a prophet who had induced induce the Israelites to carry out their lustful desires, homosexuality, and the name lesbianism in the name of Jesus. I know your words. I see your heart. 
heart and it is in the heart of deception you know that which what you're doing is wrong that's why you have gathered inside your house to make a word that is suitable for your lifestyle hold a while in the name of Jesus condemnation is not of them who is in Christ Jesus the condemnation that you feel is the tongue of Christ Jesus the Holy Ghost calling you back unto him calling you to a place of repentance in this place the persecuted church and it says unto the angel of the church in Smyrna, write these things, say first, the last which was dead and is alive. I know thy works, thy tribulations and poverty, but thou art rich, and I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not, but are the son of God, so Satan. I shake out in the crevice of the crack. Every lie, every snake that is in the pulpit, I glorify your name, God, that you begin to dress these houses with your Holy Ghost inside this place, God, from the pulpit until the back door in the name of Jesus. Satan, close every gap, close every door. Several every tie, several every cord. She called out by loose the men of God, loose the souls out of hell, and that was she called that they may come unto our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, and with a repentant and humble heart, seeking God for repentance and love, and to return back unto their first true love in the name of Jesus. The church sends at that war with the church, and that of a it says the standards for the church leaders. So it says this is true saying. If a man desires the office of a bishop, he desires a good work. But a bishop, then must be blameless. The husband of one wife, diligent, sober, good behavior in the name of Jesus, given hospitality and apt to teach. Under the Bashata Kade, not given her to wine, her nor strikers, her not greedy, her our filthy liquors, our liquors in the name of Jesus. I glorify your name, say that you let this word go for her. And God began to talk to me how the deacons and the bishops are supposed to conduct themselves, the elders, how they're supposed to conduct themselves inside the house of God. Under the not to use them, not to enslave them, but selfish work and selfish gain and for higher elevation and power. Under the hypocrites and the Pharisees, they love the best sheets in the house. Under the most Thank you, Jesus. We're shutting the doors. Under the most shikere. Under the bashaya. You should no longer sit in a position to lie, steal, and kill God's chosen elect inside this place. How are they supposed to, the uh, bishops and the deacons and, and how the church leaders are supposed to care for the widows? In the name of Jesus. But it says the younger women, uh, widows, refuse, but when they have begun wax wanton against Christ, they will marry. They should get married, have damnation because. They have cast off their first faith and withdrawn. They learn to be idle, wandering from house to house, busy bad, busy bodies, and tell uh, tell tellers in the name of Jesus, and gossipers uh, running from house to house in the name. Because he says if a man don't work, he should not eat inside his place. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Everything is beginning to come to light. The glory of the Lord has departed from the house of God. This is not my word. This is not the Bible word of God. Ezekiel 10 and 18. It says, Then the glory of the Lord departed from off the threshold of the house and stood over the cherubims. 
in the name of Jesus, the glory of the Lord had departed from the temple and was never completely present again until Christ himself visited in the New Testament her times. God's holiness required that he leave the temple because of the people who had so defiled it in the name of Jesus. Worship was a man and the lustful desires and that of a selfish love in the name of Jesus. But the things of this world, they have bowed down. They went up to the highest mountain top and they saw the glory and they don't want to go through nothing. They want it like a mic. They want it as a microwave society. They want everything handed to them on a silver platter. But God says those who suffer with me, they shall reign with me inside this place. How the sons and daughters of the kingdom, how the most she can hit, how the most I glorify your name, help me, Holy Ghost, how the most and it's in the cross, you are sons. God has sent forth the spirit of his son into your heart, crying out, Abba. Therefore, you are no longer slaves, but a son, and if a son, then in the name of Jesus, an heir of God, or through Christ, if you're an heir, according to your works, there shall be nothing withheld from you. There's nothing that you cannot ask in God's name that he will not do. Spiritual heritage and blessings is stored up for you. But because you don't want to let go of the things of this world, you're a Satan worshiper in this place in the name of Jesus. And you wonder why your world is falling apart. Why you have to run from house to house in this place in the name. Trusting in the things of man. Trusting in the wealth of man. I glorify God. You stored up your treasures here on earth where rock, um, uh, rust and moth grow. Store up your treasures in heaven. In the name of Jesus, let's bombard the throne room. I thank you, God, for making it possible, God, to send us worthy for being in the throne room of God. I thank you, Jesus. Now you send your sheep on your force. Let the, let the person decrease. Let me decrease and the spirit of the living Lord increase in this place, God. I thank you, God, that your glory is going into the highways and the byways, God. I'm healing and deliverance. Drug at is being delivered. Mindset being restored. Schizophrenic, you know, I bind the spirit of schizophrenic right now. Thank you, God, that you didn't give us a spirit of fear, but a Holy Ghost, a sound mind, and power in this place uh, to speak those things uh, that are not God uh, as though that they were uh, until they manifest in this place. Uh, nevertheless, Lord, uh, not our will, God, uh, but let thine will be done. Uh, thy kingdom come. Uh, thy will, thy kingdom come in heaven as it is on earth, God. Uh, bring down the heavens. Uh, I'm asking that the heavens come down. Uh, under the bush, she can't eh, under the bush, I thank you, God, that nothing is being withheld from us, God. I thank you, God, for your work. Even though we don't understand Christ Jesus, you said that you will never leave us nor forsake us in this place, God. I thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, God, for your hands of protection around my sons and daughters. I thank you, God. That your work will manifest in this place. For you said that your word shall not return unto you more. How they shall do what it was sent out to do, God. Help the men and women of God to train up these children the way that they should go, God. And as they get old, that it would not depart from them. That the species that was sown in their belly, that it was spew out like living water, God. The gifts of your spirit, God. I'm asking for power from up above, God. I'm asking for power for laying on the hands of healing and deliverance, God. I'm asking for power. United in the body of Christ Jesus, under the bullshit, the lying tongues that they be silenced. Thank you, God, for the trials and tribulations, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for making our hands to war and teaching our feet, making our feet like hind feet in this place, God. Thank you, Jesus, for forgiving us, God. I thank you, God, for trying our thoughts and seeing that there be any wicked way in us, God. I thank you, God, for 
have created us a clean heart, God, and renewing a right spirit in us, God, even in our broken state, God. But you say you desire a broken heart and a contrite spirit in this place, God. And it says this is confirmation. Because God said the other day, an attitude for gratitude. In Psalms 18, it says gratitude for deliverance and victory. You already got the victory in Christ Jesus. And the only thing you got to do is believe. Not wavering or doubting. Not have a double mind. But God is not a double mind. Does not work in our operating a double mind and standard. And the name of Jesus. Learning to walk by faith and not by sight. I don't care what it look like. I don't care who you know. I know the creator. How is the creation going to intimidate the creator? He just said, "You, I am a daughter. You are a son. In the name of Jesus. I've known to be a burden bearer. I've known to wipe tears in the midnight hour. Because he said, we can be endure for the moment. But joy comes in the morning. Your morning is when you choose to believe in Christ Jesus. I've known to be Jehovah Jireh. I've known to bless the five two, two fish and five loaves of bread. That it fed a multitude. And there was, more, there was more than enough left over. There's days I look back on my life. And I was like, God, how did I get here? Where have I been, Jesus? I thank you, God, that you kept my mind in the midnight hour, God. I thank you, God, that you didn't let me lose it, God. I glorify your name, God. I thank you for your healing and deliverance in my body, God. The days that I was sick, God. The days that I laid on my deathbed. I thank you, God, that your Holy Ghost moving over me in the midnight hour. Oh God, I thank you, God, that you're going inside the, the hospitals. In the name of Jesus, that you're going inside the prison doors right now, God. In the, that you're going inside the White House, God. That you begin to uproot and expose every evil work that Satan's kingdom is being exposed. I thank you, God, when you say he will always come before good. In the name of Jesus, I call out by him. As you begin to let the slaves free, hundred of us she get in, hundred of us she crooked paths is being made straight in this place. I thank you, God. Psalms eighteen. It says, "I will love thee." Oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, with my strength, God, the Lord is my rock, my fortress, my deliverer, my God, my strength, in whom I would trust, my bumper, my horn of my salvation, and my high tower. I will call upon thee in the name of Jesus, who is worthy in the name of Jesus to be praised, God. I give you a hallelujah praise. Hinder the brother, you said if I be lifted up, I draw all men unto me. I thank you, God, that you, God, will speak to them in the midnight hour, God, that you'll lead them, God, that they'll see the light sitting on the hill, Jesus, and they will come running and seeking after you, Christ Jesus, that they will take up their cross and will come seeking after you, God. There will not be wild devils, there will not be man seekers. Hinder the Messiah, you will wait on your time. God, for you said God was praying in the name of Jesus. And God says, I see you. You're still going out in the name of Jesus. So whenever you go out, don't worry about what you bring back in because you brought it back into your peace. If you just wait on my time in the name of Jesus. And he began to talk to me about Samson, how Samson took a heart. You're taking in heartless in the name of Jesus. So don't get mad when they begin to start doing hearted ways, have horrid ways in this place because that's what you desire. You desire to gratify your flesh, the lust of the flesh, crucify your flesh in the name of Jesus. Thank you, God. So shall I be saved, God. Psalms 18 and 9, 3, in the name of Jesus. From my enemies, God, in the name of Jesus. Shakura by Oh, God, I says, explain to him about the enemies in the name of Jesus. 
midnight hour. I was praying, and I began to hear God say, That's why they got enemies now. And you're fighting, you ain't see something about it. Because you know what I'm talking about. 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 Because you know what I'm tal
arrows and scattered them in the name of Jesus. He shot out lightning and discomfited them in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Then the channels of waters were seen, and the foundation of the world was discovered at thy rebuke. Oh, Lord, at the blast of the breath of thy nostrils, he sent them above. He took them in the name of Jesus. He took me. He drew me out of many waters. I thank you, God. I know of a she I hit, but not allow the things of this world to drown us in this place. I know of a she I hit. He delivered me from my a strong enemy. I thank you, God. No devil in hell can snatch you out of the hands of God. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Yeah, he sent out in the name of Jesus. Thank you, God. And it says, and from them which hated me, for they were too strong for me in the name of Jesus. That prevented me in the days of my calamity. But the Lord was saved. He brought me forth also into a Lord's place and delivered me in the name of Jesus, because the light in me, in the name of Jesus, and the Lord rewarded me according to my righteousness, because you go through, in the name of Jesus, in due season, you shall reap if you faint not, I don't grow weary, and well doing, I promise you, my daughter, my son, there's a blessing on the other side, of going through the rough times, in the name of Jesus, I'm if you remain faithful over a few things, I'll make you rule over many in this place. I'm not a more she called out by head. That's a blessing, that's a promise. I'm not a more she called out by head. I don't want to hear that. You want to hear cars, houses. I'm not a more she called out by head. I'm not a she I hit. Lord Jesus, I'm not a more she I hit. In the name of Jesus, under the word she called out by head. Foxes have holes, and birds of the air have nests, but the Son of Man has nowhere to lay his head. Under the sense her desire to take up your cross and follow Christ Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I glorify your name according to the cleanness of my hands. How he compares me, for I have kept the ways of the Lord and have not wickedly departed. From my God, for all his judgments were before me, and I did not pass, put away his statutes from me. I was also upright in the name of Jesus. Before him, I thank you, God, kept myself from my iniquities. Therefore, hath the Lord recompensed me according to my righteousness, according to my cleanness of my hands in the name of Jesus, in his eyesight. Thank you, Jesus. I in the name of Jesus, Satan is trembling in his boots. In the name of Jesus, because his earthly kingdom is being torn down under the sinking ship. Thank you, Jesus. I was upright before him, and he kept myself from my iniquities. Therefore, have the Lord recompense me according to my righteousness, according to my cleanness of my hands, in his eyesight, in the name of Jesus. With the mercy thou wilt show thyself merciful, with the upright man thou wilt show thyself upright, and with the pure, in the name of Jesus, thou wilt show thyself pure, and with the forward, thou wilt show thyself forward, and thou was saved of 50 people, but thou will bring her in the name of Jesus. Oh God, I hear priesthood because you know in the, in the Torah, which what a lot of people are following the Torah, whenever God began to ordain and set the priest aside, they sat inside the temple and they read the Torah, they read the word of God, they read the commandment. I hear leadership anointing in the name of Jesus. I 
CIA because the people feel God. They want somebody that can go before Christ Jesus and speak to God for them until they could, until you can lead them into right standing. I heard God say, Usher. Usher my people into my presence in the name of Jesus. It is a need time. Even though whenever God died on the cross, he ripped the veil in half. He made it possible that man can come before the throne of grace. But in the name of Jesus, I hear her. Priest standing in the gap in the name of Jesus. I'm calling you for in the name of Jesus to stand before my people under the most she called of I hit to intercede on behalf of the sins of the people under the most she called of I hit. He said, Remind them when Moses went up to the mountain of Mount Sinai to sit with God. He said, If you come near this mountain, I will destroy you because I know your works. I see your deception. You're trying to break into the throne room of God, Satan. I see you. Your righteousness is as filthy rags. I never was seeking out the materialist and wealth. How to use the word to draw forth things. How to use the word to manipulate people. I never shot my judgment is against those, the Balamites, the witchcraft workers, the brutal workers, the sodomites in the name of Jesus, the sorcerers in this place. What other way for you to be as a rule over them? If I don't, if you don't allow, I don't allow you to go through it. And they make war against you in the name of Jesus. I'm exposing everything, every witchcraft source will work of evil and wickedness in this place. I shut you down for a minute so that you can see what is working up against the body of Christ, what is working up against the children of God in this place. How to discern between good and evil in this place in the name of Jesus. It's been the blind guys lead the blind in this place. I'm trying to save my small remnant in this place. All the shackles breaking off right now in the name of Jesus. Healing and deliverance is taking place right now in the spiritual realm in the name of Jesus. The enemies that chased after you rise of the day, they will no longer chase you the way that they chased you in this place. I put in the red sea and as they follow the red sea, the sea is going to come and engulf them in this place. And that I'm she caught up by here. I called you to walk upright before me in this place. Honda of a she It said, Well, that was saved. Oh God, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Honda of a she. It said, Well, that will save the afflicted. But that but what bring thou high looks in the name of Jesus. Woo, Jesus, confirmation. But that will. Light candles, the Lord my God will enlighten my darkness in the name of Jesus. For they for be thee, I have run through the troop, and by my God have I leaped over who shut the walls. As for God, his ways is perfect. The word of the Lord is tried, is buffered to all those who trust him. Woo, thank you, Jesus. Shock. You got power to speak into the minds of people and they be delivered in the name of Jesus. And if you have the faith, the grain of a mustard seed, under of a she called out by here. But you gotta learn how to minister her, how to understand the clarity that they must know that they got to denounce the things of this world, how to for true deliverance to take place in this place in the name of Jesus. Under of a she called out by here. It is God that girds me with strength. And make my ways perfect. He make her my feet like her. Oh, she's hot. That old boy, she called out by him. The prophetic mantle, oh, rest upon your life in the name of Jesus. To speak a prophetic divine word of God is in this place. It says He makes my feet like hind feet, and He sets me upon high places. He teaches my hands to walk. Who shall it all? So that my bow a steel will be broken by mine arm. 
stones thou hast also given me the shield of thy salvation and thy right hand hath beholden me of the gentleness he hath me it made me great. Thou hast enlarged my steps under me, that my feet did not slip. How that I would have pursued my enemies and overtaken them. Neither did I turn again till they were consumed. In the name of Jesus, mercy is given unto whom God is mercy is given but when God say overtaken and overthrow you better listen to the commandments of God and it says I have wounded them that they were not able to rise they are falling under their feet but thou hast burdened me with strength unto the battle thou hast subdued me under in the name of Jesus, me those that rose up against me. Thou hast also given me the neck of my enemies. I have, I might destroy them that hate me. They cry, but there was none to save them. In the name of Jesus, even unto the Lord, but they answered them not. I glorify your name. Then did I beat them small as the dust therefore, the wind I did cast them out as the dirt in the streets. Thou hast delivered me from the starving of people, and thou hast made me the head of the heathens. People whom I have not known shall serve me in the name of Jesus as soon as they hear me they shall obey me the strangers this is psalms 1843 as soon as they hear me they shall obey me the strangers shall submit themselves unto me the strangers shall fade away be afraid out of their clothes close places the lord liveth bless of my rock let the lord let god my salvation be exalted. It is God that avenges me, that subdues the people under me in the name of Jesus. Oh, thank you. Oh, God just said it is a time is going to come that everything that you spoke out of your word because you spoke my word, it shall come forth in this place. And he delivered me from mine enemies, yea, that lifted me up upon those that rise upon against me, that has delivered me from the violent men. Therefore, I will give thanks unto thee, O Lord, among the heathens and sing praises unto thy name. Great deliverance, give it to his king, and show mercy to his anointed, to David, and to his seed forevermore. Your seed, seed shall be blessed for the, for the suffering in your servanthood unto God, into your into your seventh generation in the name of Jesus. And God, oh God, thank you, God, for confirmation. How can the creation overthrow the creator? And it says, <laughs> Psalms 19, for God's creation, his word reveals greatness. He says, the outpouring of the vine revelation is pouring out of your belly in the name of Jesus. The heathen, the heavens declare the glory of the Lord in the name of the glory of God. Psalms 19 and 1. The firmament showed his hand, his handiwork. Day unto day utter speech, and night unto night short knowledge. There is no speech nor language where their voice is not heard. Thank you, God. Their line is going out through all the earth. Their words to the end of the world. In them have he set tabernacle for the sun, which is the bridegroom coming out of the chamber. I'm coming back for a bride for that spot and wrinkle. In the name of Jesus, rejoice of her and strong, a strong man to run and race. He's going forth. Is in the name of Jesus, is from the ends of the heaven. His circuit unto the ends of it. There is nothing hid. In the name of Jesus, from the heat thereof, I glorify God. I see traveling. You're going to travel. 
Thank you, Jesus. Psalms 19 and 7. It says the Lord, uh, the law of the Lord is perfect, converting the souls. Uh, the testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise simple. The statue of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The heart in the commandment of the Lord is pure, enlightened the eyes. The fear of the Lord is clean, uh, enduring for forever. The judgment of the Lord are true in the name of Jesus and righteous altogether. Nor to be desired are they the gold, yea. Ooh, time is closing. Therefore, much fine gold, sweeter also than honey, the honeycomb in the name of Jesus. Ooh, it says when we think of the statute of commandments and judgment, we often think of rules that keep us from having fun, hundred of us she called out by here. But here we see opposite law that convert of us, make us up wise, rejoice, enlighten the eyes, warning us, reward us. It is reward in the name of Jesus for keeping the statue and the commandments of the Lord in the name of Jesus. Hundred of us she called out by here. You don't have to run out into the street from house to house seeking for the blessings and the things of God. Thank you, Jesus. Psalms 1911. Moreover, by them is thy servant warned, and keep of them there is great reward. Who can understand his errors? Cleanse thou me from my sin. Keep the false God, hand that of a she you keep back thy servant also for presumptuous sins. Let them not be have dominion over men. In the name of Jesus, there shall be upright, and I shall be innocent from the greatness transgression. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in the name of Jesus, in thy sight, O oh Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Thank you, God, for victory. I glorify your name, Abba, Lord of Lords and Kings of Kings, the Alpha, the Omega, the beginning and the end. I glorify your name. Amen, amen, and amen. One for the Father, one for the Son, and one for the Holy Ghost. I thank you, Jesus. Humble yourself, and all the desires of your heart is coming unto you in the name of Jesus. I was riding down the road and I'm done. Coming the early this morning, I just seen the image of a baseball, uh, a baseball player's head. And God dropped in my spirit. He said, if you build it, they will come. In the name of Jesus, for all the naysayers that think that they're stealing and killing in the name of Jesus. I allowed it to happen. So you know what not and who not to be entangled up with in the name of Jesus. I'm calling watchers to watch in this season and time. Because in due season you shall reap if you faint not. Most high saints of God. Who will you serve in the name of Jesus? Will you serve the creation? Or will you serve the creator? God just read what will happen if you serve the creation. Psalms 19 in this way. There's great reward for keeping his commandments. As for me and mine, we shall serve the Lord inside his place. Most high saints of God. Oh, Lord. I just hear a little song. Don't worry. Be happy. Most high saints of God, I glorify God in this place. I am so much, I'm bubbling over. I'm ecstatic and I'm grateful for the opportunity. A lot of times you do not understand it. A lot of times, because it had not been for the Lord on my side, there's no telling where I would have been. I would have, God had not grabbed a hold of me and um, just cradled me in his arms. I would have been back out in the world a long time ago. And I just had a tug in my spirit the other day. I said, well, you know what? And it just said it. You, I was like, I need to go out and enjoy life and have fun. And God halted me in my spirit. Because you got to know what you're doing, how you're doing, and when you're doing in Christ Jesus. And he says, I, I see you still going out. Woo! Don't be surprised. 
eyes when you go out. What you bring back in in the name of Jesus. Your footsteps has been ordered in this place in the name of Jesus. Oh, Jesus. My God. Jesus, I love the Lord. Most high saints of God on this lovely day. This is the day that the Lord has made. I am a witness. Be glad in it. Stuff is going to come to deter you and to turn you away. But who are you going to trust in? It's, it, it, it's easier said than done. But I've learned to know that yes, he is an all-time God. I'm grateful for what it is that God is doing. The small remnant. For the small what God has got gave. Because Jabez is going to come. I am grateful that he chose somebody like little old me to preach the gospel. It's just like the son, great his grace and mercy has kept me. Now, I, I tell you, because I should have been so dead, sleeping in my grave a long time ago. Hey, and we still here. And we still got we got some work to do. We got some work to do, body of Christ. The harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few. Don't faint along the journey. As you walk through a valley of a shadow, because it's only a shadow of death in the name of Jesus. God is showing you what will and what will not. What will happen if you keep on keeping on in Christ Jesus? But what, what will not happen if you decide to allow the sun come and drive that word? It says there's a word fall on stony ground. And hard times. Just because hard times come. That's where he is. That, that's, that's where I am. I was, I'm done. I was riding yesterday and I started so happy to stop by the store. And instantly as I turned into the parking lot of the store, I saw a man sitting there. And as I saw him sitting there, no lie, I, I saw, I literally saw the image of Jesus Christ. And you know, it says it gives you a, a description of God in the book of Revelation. And it's not that Jesus is white. It's not that Jesus is black. The reason why Jesus said the white Jesus is, is on the wall, it is, a, it is a Caucasian that is going to come to you in the form and he's going to do the work of God in your life. It's going. It's because it's like he said. Uh, help me, God, to make it clear that what you, what you do unto one of these out here, uh, you do it unto God. So it's, it could be it could be a Caucasian person, and it and a, and it'll be a, an African American or an Asian person that is going to come and bless you. That's going to step up in your life, and they're going to be, and it's going to be the work of God of them coming in your life in the name of Jesus. So that's really why God said that's really why you that's why. Are you seeing uh, a white Jesus? It's not that because God is Jesus, Jesus is white. It's not because God is white. It's not because God is black. It's not because God is whatever, whatever it is the, the misconception, the false doctrine that they're given. It's going to be a certain person of a particular sector that is going to come and they're going to bless you. But don't miss Jesus, because he's like he said, God was Jesus was in the world and the world knew him not. So don't let what it is that has happened in your life and you miss God. Now you know he will always come before good. Deception will come before good. So it's going to be a white person that's going to come to you and it's going to mess it all the way up. It's going to come to a black person that's going to come before you. It's going to mess it all. It's going to become an Asian or a Hispanic or whatever it may be. They're going to mess it all up because they're going to want you to hate that generation, that race of people in the name of Jesus. It's like God talked to my spirit. I was praying about it. He said, racism don't exist in my kingdom. But what other way to get these people broken up and get them out of their position from where I, it is that I got them is if I, if I allow the belittleness, the belittleness of ignorance of because they, are, they have not been chastised and mature in the fact that uh, you're not allowing this ignorance. I know I'm black. Yes, you are white. 
and yes, you are a lesbian, and yes, you are Hispanic, yes, you are Asian, whatever it may be, but don't let allow ignorance. It's got you got to learn to allow um uh like water growing off a duck's back and keep on keeping on. It's harder, it's hard, God. You know, I was a fool when you called me, so help me mature in that level that I'm not walking the car down mind. That we learn how to turn the other cheek when ignorance comes. It's it God over the next hundred and fifty-seven days. God has been speaking so profoundly. He's been talking a lot about how we pray. He said we're praying. We just come in all kinds of, I mean, more, 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 more. I've been, boy, I've been crying. I'm, I'm sorry for my spirit on how it is that I treat God. But I'm grateful for the opportunity because if God don't teach us, then we won't know. He's training us as his children, his sons and daughters, the way that we should go. So that as we grow in Christ Jesus, we won't depart from it. We will, because it says that in the beginning, from the beginning, we lost the foundation. We lost the foundation. Some people just want to go by the Torah. And some people just want to live by the Torah. No, you just want to live. Let the word live according to how it is that you want to live. And it does not work like that. He said, teach them my statue from generation to generation. And we have left the foundation. We have left the foundation, the biblical foundation, which the world and the United States of America was founded upon. We have left the foundation it is crumbling because we don't want to. We don't want to live. We want to live by what is gratified our flesh. But God said it in the beginning. It's the wickedness. That's the reason why you see so much evil in the world because of the wickedness of man's heart. Because we have not allowed the foundation, the biblical truth, be embedded in our hearts and really just get in. Because I, I find myself doing that. My flesh, Lord, you know I'm gonna mess up, God, and I wrestle with it for days. But it's for a purpose. It was for a particular reason right then. If you if something come up against you and you wrestling with that thing for days and you just so happen, because here's he said, I'm going to provide a way with this game. It's something that is working against you and it's something that God is trying to break you down. He's trying to bring you back to a humble state and face. Thank you, God. That's what it is. That's what God, he says, I'm, I'm humbling you. I'm, not, I'm teaching you, I'm break, I gotta break you all over again. I gotta break you so that, because I desire a broken heart and a contrite spirit, because I know it's gonna humble you. Your flesh is rising and it's beginning to become halted and it's, and it's, and it's, and it's, and it's running you. Because God says that He who worship me must worship me in spirit and in truth. Most high say to God, y'all be blessed. I'm happy, I'm excited, and the spirit of the living Lord is just moving and, and we'll be here. We'll, I remember when I was, and I'm done. First, God say, and I fell in love with Jesus. I fell in love with the word. And I and it's like it's like the high that I had for cocaine. And I don't, you know, and it's not that I'm glorifying this, but uh I remember a young woman, young, dumb, and full of full of uh, just a mess. And um I just so happened to use cocaine for the first time. That first high, you never get it back. Oh Jesus, shine the Lord. Is you chase it. You check because they and they say that it's because it's a gateway. You once you become addicted to a drug, you chasing that first high in the name of Jesus. So when if I began to know Christ Jesus, that's how I knew I was instantly delivered. Because the taste, it didn't taste no, it didn't the, I didn't, I mean it, it was not right. I began to despise that that lifestyle. So when I met Jesus and I went out and I saw that I saw the glory. I saw God, I saw the glory of Jesus. I saw the cross. When I, I, I literally when I, I saw the cross over a grave. I've been chasing that high ever since. It takes a minute, but you hit that peak. And guess what? It's just a, it's just a taste. He's giving you a taste of it to keep you keeping on and to keep you. I wonder where is he at? I'm not here. Or why am I? Because he wants you to pick up your cross and chase after him in the name of Jesus. Because he says, if you seek me, then you shall find me. If you knock, then the door shall be open in the name of Jesus. I'm chasing after the high of Christ Jesus. I'm chasing after the glory. I'm chasing after the power. I'm chasing to be able to speak those things that are not as though that they are. I'm chasing after the kingdom in this place in the name of Jesus. Because you don't tell me. You don't come in my face. and You don't, you don't threaten me with no things of the world. And I know I met you. Jesus, I met his power in the name of Jesus. God says, I'm, Jesus. I'm, I'm seeking for some kingdom chases in this place. In the name of Jesus, most high saints of God, y'all be blessed.
and I'm done. Lord, thank you, Jesus. I don't know what she called out by you. Oh, God, blessings is coming. Blessings is coming. In the name of Jesus, so hold on my head. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Abba. Handle my shy, I hear it. Handle my she get it. Nothing will be withheld from you for seeking the things of the kingdom in this place. In the name of Jesus, handle my she, I hear.